Evgenia and Timoshenko, thank you for joining us. Um, I want to start by asking about your mother's health and what's known about the state of her health right now. What can you clarify? Um, well, her health has been uh, uh, worsening during this past three months since uh, she couldn't walk anymore since 5th of November. Uh, but unfortunately, with many attempts of the foreign community to invite uh, doctors to make the independent um, commission check up and um, make a diagnosis for the first time in six months, have so far failed. and. Uh, we Still, her health is worsening, and uh, her she's in severe pain. She's got a uh, pain in her back, uh, which is actually classified by by international standards like six out of ten. And uh, because of that pain, she cannot move. She cannot sleep properly. And uh, um, the people who are depriving her of medical treatment um, are now known as, as said as as if they're torturing her. When is the last time you were able to see your mother face to face? Uh, I think it was uh, about 13 days ago. Uh, so uh, I tried to go and see her, to be there with her when the commission came, but uh, they refused, uh, the authorities uh, in the colony refused us to go in with the lawyer with no legal basis either. And they said, you know, we, we know that we're breaking the law, but we're not going to let you in. And are you able to speak to her when you're not in contact with her? For example, now while you're traveling, are you able to talk to her on the telephone? No, uh, it's completely forbidden. Although that uh, since 1st of January this year, 1st of February this year, uh, people who are going for sentence are allowed to have uh, uh, unlimited uh, telephone uh, c communication with, with whoever they choose to do uh, in their free time. At the moment, we cannot talk to, I cannot talk to my mother on the phone either. It hasn't been, because she cannot walk, she cannot reach the, the telephone that they've put in the, some kind of corridor. Uh, they're refusing to put a telephone next to her, next to herself, so she can call her relatives. How would you describe her mood the last time you saw her? But, you know, she, her morale is high and she's just, you know, proven once again that uh, she's a very strong person, she's a very strong woman and, uh, you know, leader, and uh, but of course uh, she's still working as well despite her pain. She's uh, writing articles and uh, making her statements to what you know, uh, to what's going on in Ukraine and uh, the steps that the regime is doing and criticizing them and working still. You recently said that Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych was trying to get rid of your mother. Did you mean that he was trying to eliminate her as a political rival, or are you truly concerned that she may die as a result of her prison conditions? Well, um, actually, after uh, the incident on the 6th of January, when my mother fell unconscious for two hours and no help came for 20 minutes, even though she's under constant uh, video supervision for her safety, as if for her safety, uh, we understood that um, because no medical help was given to her during this 20 minutes where she could have died because her blood pressure was critically low at uh, 60 by 40 and her uh, temperature, body temperature was 35 degrees. I mean, it's a very critical state and they didn't help her. Uh, we don't know why they didn't help her straight away. Uh, it's, you know, it's just the evidence that they probably didn't want to help her, or we don't know why. Why um, they didn't give us any reason afterwards why she fell unconscious. And actually, after a few days, uh, Ministry of Health again denied the fact that she fell unconscious. Although her and her neighbor stayed completely the opposite, and they're the, 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 you know, the victim and the witness of what went on. So um, after this incident, I truly started uh, being worried, and all our family worried for her life. Okay, Yevgenia Timoshenko, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much.